What's up everyone, Sakes down here. Welcome back to another hockey card video. Today I'm going to be opening up my first ever tin. This is for 2019-20 Upper Deck Series 1. This was on clearance at my local Walmart for $40. I decided to pick it up because there is some great young guns that I missed and I didn't buy too much products of that year, but I love the uh, young guns class for this year. So I wanted to purchase this and open it up on the channel. So we're just going to open it up here. The tins include a bonus pack, which is, I think, Opeachy Glossy. And I'll show you. We'll open them up first, actually. So yeah, it's Opeachy Glossy, three rookie cards. Let's see who we have. We have Ryan... Foffling, probably butchered that, I don't follow Montreal. Max Jones, that's a pretty decent one for me. And we have Dante Fabro. Um, I don't know if this is a different variant. I think these are base, this is brown border or bronze border maybe. Those are pretty cool. I know I don't have any of those. So now we're going to go in and get into all of these packs here, one by one. Um, I'm looking for young guns, jersey cards, um, things like that. Basically, growing the collection. So our first pack here, going to open it up. We have Essa Lindell, Krejci. Longo, which I do not have, that's a nice one. Kyle Palmarelli. Trevenin. Jake DeBrusque. Shea Theodore. They're starting to cut off. I don't know if you guys can see this. No, of course it won't autofocus for me. Um, there we go. It's starting to cut off the names on the bottom. I'm going to have to start looking into that. And uh, Wow. Talking about uh, cutting off the names there, eh? Of course it won't autofocus, there we go. Pajot. It's cut right in half. Um, I'm gonna have to contact Upper Deck if I get a lot of these because, you know, I usually get hockey cards. Even though they're base, I usually purchase hockey cards for growing collections, especially players, and if you have some that are misprints or whatever, it doesn't hurt to uh, check in with Upper Deck to see if they'll replace them or replace, like give you something for them. Next one is Mackenzie Blackwood. I'm recording with the camera for the first time today, so let me know what you guys think. Dallin, kind of felt thick. Matt Murray, I do not have this one, that's really cool. We have a canvas for Miko Boddicker, who is not in the NHL anymore. I think he signed with Sweden or something like that for two years. Uh, anyways, I already have this card. I got it out of a fat pack a while back um, So that's a double but that's a insert at least Wow, Duncan Keith cut in half his name there. Even this has moved up. Everything's moved up on it Jeff Petrie same thing Tom Wilson's not bad. Robert Thomas is just getting close to the bottom with the name being cut off I don't know, we'll see how many we get and see if it's even worth contacting Upper Deck. I know you have to email them with the receipts and the whole nine yards if I want to get into that. Brent Seabrook. And then you have to send them your cards. Uh, Eken? Eken? Not familiar. Kucherov, that's a nice one. I like that. We have a Upper Deck Portraits for Chris Letang. That's cool. I don't know if I have a small PC of him or not. Uh, Sam Reinhardt, Fast, uh, Lynn Bob, and Forsberg. Comment down below if you guys prefer me recording like this with the camera, or did you like it before when I was recording with the smartphone? I'm starting to wonder. I like the angle better before, because um, these cards, they're really close to me, but in the camera, it looks really far away. Just gonna get into the next pack here. Dominic Simon, Kapanen, Seth Jones, 
Chris Tierney, which I collect and I do not have. That's a nice one for me. Bobby Ryan, names cut right in half. That's a little disappointing when you buy a tin. Uh, William Nylander. Falongo. And Sidney Crosby, name cut in half. Oh my god. That one's disappointing. I know I don't have that Sidney Crosby card. Um, later today, I was actually planning on recording a... Uh, like all the Sidney Crosby cards I have. Uh, for a video, because that's been requested a while back. I just haven't had time to do it. Um, not including that one. This pack seems extremely light on how many cards are in it. Um, I don't know if that means there's a big hit, but Patrick Hornquist, Darren Helm, uh, Bogstan, Raquel, and Jordan Wheel. That was a scary pack. One, two, three, four, five cards total. How many cards are supposed to be in a pack? Uh, eight cards per pack. Eight cards per pack. We just got a pack that had five and they're all base. That is a scary sight. Gonna go into the next pack here. Wow, I actually can't believe that. Uh, five cards in a pack, all base. Wow. Uh, Kovalchuk, Cam Fowler, Hellebuck, Kostkin, at least I'm getting uh, cards that I like. Uh, Rasmus Sadden, Young Guns. I have to look up this one. I don't follow Mon uh, Montreal. I don't follow Toronto Maple Leafs, but that is a nice looking card. First, Young Guns. Nick Letty, Atkinson, and Borgstrand. None of those ones were uh, printed wrong, so that's a good sign at least. Next pack. That's still a little scary that we only got five cards in that one pack. I, is that even worth contacting Upper Deck about? I'm not even sure. Uh, Morgan Rayleigh. Ryan Nugent Hopkins. Tyler Johnson. We have an Upper Deck uh, canvas card for Kovalchuk. That's cool. I like uh, I do like the canvas cards. This is a nice pose. I like that. I like how they're really artsy. That's really cool. That one's staying in my collection. We have two Upper Deck portraits. Uh, Gustin. Uh, Butchniv. Sorry, I'm not familiar with him. TJ Oshie. And Zucker. Who I do enjoy. Um, now part of the Penguins. I think we're down to... Two packs left? Yeah, two packs left. Thomas Shabbat. I think that's the first card I actually pulled of Thomas Shabbat in a long time. Uh, Daniel Sprung. Braden Holtby, I do PC. Uh, Racket Fasak. I probably butchered that. Brandon Gignac. Young Guns. Um, I'm not familiar with this player. He's from Quebec. Not familiar with him. Alex Pitcherlongo, it's cut off. Keith Yandel, name's cut off. And Max Calvert. Two young guns down. We have one pack left. I'm um, not sure. I didn't even look up to see what the odds are to get young guns and everything. But we have two young guns. Uh, we have an upper deck portraits. Two canvas cards. And of course we had our glossy rookies pack. But that's a bonus one. So that's not... Um, a top one. This is a thick pack. I think we have uh, something good in this one. So we have Nick Bonio. I always butcher names. That's how I pronounce his. Thomas Hurdle. Ryan Reeves. Wow. We got a Clayton Keller upper deck game jersey card. That is awesome. I do PC him. This one is going to be going up on my shelf because I absolutely love the player. First jersey card of his. That is awesome. Now, yes, I would have preferred a colored patch or one that's a multicolored, but with the border being red, the white actually blends in and actually looks a lot nicer, in my opinion. Um, that is so cool. That is staying in my collection for sure. Uh, Lars Eller and Roussel. So we're just going to do a uh, 
Updates here, so we have two young guns. We have Gignac and Sadin. I think this one might be a better one. Let me put it into frame here for you guys. Two young guns. We have one upper deck portrait for Chris Letang. Now, at the time I'm recording this video, why is the camera not focusing? Um, at the time I'm recording this video, I'm not 100% sure if I have a PC of his or not, but I am starting to get some more cards of his. Uh, we have a canvas card for Boddicker, and we have a canvas card for Kovalchuk. Um, I already have Boddicker, so Kovalchuk is at least a good one. And we have a jersey card for Clayton Keller, which, as I mentioned, I PC. I've been getting a lot more of his cards. Huge, huge, huge fan. So that, for me, is kind of really excited. I'm really excited to see what else I can get. So comment down below if you guys think that this tin was worth it. Um, I have mixed feelings. I do. However, there is quite a few base cards that are misprints. I might have to reach out to Upper Deck and uh, see, especially there's a lot of misprints. There is uh, one pack only had five cards. I'm really curious of why so I, I know a lot of people that have been buying boxes hobby boxes tins any products like that you have your receipts uh the tin still left um or box take pictures send it to upper deck and usually you have to send them the actual cards and get replacements so i'll see i'm going to look into that but comment down below what you guys think and comment down below what you guys think of the new setup with the camera recording these hockey card videos as opposed to recording with my smartphone, at least I can zoom in at the end when I'm done, which I absolutely love this feature. So I don't know, I think we're going to stick with it for now, but comment down below what you guys think and what you guys thought of these cards. I love the Clayton Color jersey card. I'll leave this video here. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys in the next one. Please take care. Peace.